Hey, good morning. I'm John Rhodes, and I had two phrases that I wanted to share today that have helped me a lot in terms of thinking about how I want to change my approach to the world. In the last few years, we have watched more and more with the divisiveness of having different opinions and not being able to hear each other. And I've posted previous about, previously about talking past each other and trying to understand other people's perspectives. And I came across these two phrases recently that help to challenge me in terms of how I'm responding when someone else has a differing opinion from me. And the, the first phrase is approaching differences with a sense of uh, gracious curiosity, that, that we can differ graciously. And that's two words that might seem like they're very far apart from each other given how we view the world sometimes, but the response is about me. And am I able to look at differences graciously with a sense of curiosity, with a sense of gratitude, and figuring out how to adjust my preferences to be able to see that the, the, the differences are important and matter. And even if I disagree, that I can at least accept that they're there and be grateful for that. That's a tall ask. And so I'm wondering what it will take, not only for myself, but for others to look at those differences with a sense of gratitude, with a sense of curiosity, and how to develop that for myself. And my ask is how to develop that for you. What do you need in order to look at all of the variety that we have and the great di distance in our differences sometimes as something that we need and to be grateful for? A phrase to help with that is that in engaging someone that I have a big difference with, to try to start with, oh, I see that differently. Not in a sense of terms of yelling, not out of a sense of anger, but almost out of a sense of surprise and, and that, that wondering of, oh, I see that differently, which allows the conversation to continue and isn't a condemnation, isn't a negative response. It just announces and verifies that there is a difference. What would happen if you were to try and find opportunities to respond, starting in little ways, to test drive it with that sense of, oh, I see things differently. Maybe even following up with, how, how do you see it? And tell me more. That, that graciousness then comes out with, oh, I see it differently. There isn't a need to argue. There isn't a need to go further unless both, both parties want to continue to talk. It allows you to have a voice. It allows you to uh, hold a boundary without getting into the details of what those differences are and having a sense of gratitude for another person's stance while honoring your own. My challenge to you this week is to look for opportunities where you might be able to include, oh, I see things differently, or I see that differently. And looking for opportunities where you might be able to add some graciousness, hospitality, uh, curiosity, and thankfulness into your own differences with other people. As always, take some time to think about that. Please feel free to ask any questions or comment below. I'm John Rhodes. This is Rhodes Life Coaching. I hope you're able to find purpose and meaning in daily life.